So now let's figure out how many five card hands are possible with four red cards and one black card. Well, how many red cards are there in the standard deck? Only 26. And black cards are also, of course, 26. Half are red, half are black. Of course. So, from the 26 red cards, we're going to select four of them. So, 26 choose four. And we're going to multiply that. Why do we multiply again? Because the word and, when we're dealing with this type of problem, will usually mean multiplication. So, and one black card. So, from the 26 black cards, we're going to choose one of them. So, 20, 26 combination 4 times 26, 20, sorry, 26 combination 1. And, uh, great. So, I'm going to plug that into the calculator and find the answer. And, um, after that, I will also work that out with factorials. You don't have to watch that part if your if your teacher just allows you to just figure out figure things out with the calculator. Um, by the way, every time I get twenty or anything choose or combination one, it's just going to be the n value. So that's just twenty six. So twenty six times fourteen thousand nine hundred and fifty works out to be a large number. 388,700 ways uh, that we can have five, a five card hand with four red cards and one black card. So many ways. Okay, so so right now you're done if you don't want to expand things with factorials, but I will also explain how to do it that way. And uh, for the first part, 26 combination 4, we're going to go 26 factorial over. 4 factorial times 26 minus 4 factorial. And for the 26 combination 1 will be 26 factorial over 1 times 1 factorial, right, which is 1, times 26 minus 1 factorial. Great. So this is 22 factorial. So I will take the 26 factorial and expand it into 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 that was not a 2, so I'm going to rewrite it. 23 times 22 factorial. All over. 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2. Times 1, but I don't need to write the 1. Times 22 factorial, which cancels out with the top. Multiplied by this 25 factorial, right? That's just 1, so I don't need to bother with it. 26 factorial is equal to 26 times 25 factorial. So they cancel out, and I get just 26. Great. So if I plug all these things into the calculator, all these numbers, 26 times 25 times 24 times 23, divided by 4 times 3 times 2, I should get 14,950. Then I can multiply that by 26 and get the answer. That's it.